Hello, I am Tarun Prakash from Vinod Gupta School of Management IIT Kharagpur, India, evaluating Subaru and Suzuki Motor Corporation against each other. Subaru Corporation is a conglomerate present across different sectors, while Suzuki operates only in automobile industry but with relatively larger global presence. While the relative wealth chart of both the companies signaling the fade phase, the comparative analysis shows that Subaru's CFROI and asset growth rate stands higher than Suzuki. In fact, Subaru's CFROI is best in the industry. Considering the sales growth, Subaru is falling year on year while Suzuki shows volatile trend. The asset turnover of both the companies are following the downtrend. Having higher sales growth with relatively lesser asset turnover shows Suzuki's inefficient asset management. Looking further into margins, Subaru shows downtrend while Suzuki has an uptrend. Suzuki, though has a higher operating margin, it has a relatively lower EBITDA margin than Subaru. Risk quality being same, the higher growth of other assets and liabilities is pulling down the Subaru's balance sheet quality while the higher accrued expense pulls the Suzuki's expense recognition ranking down to average. Also, the relatively higher leverage with lower interest coverage ratio makes Suzuki fundamentally weak while Subaru with its best-in-class interest coverage ratio stands stronger. Scorecard analysis shows that though negative CFROI revisions draining Subaru's momentum, its promising operational quality and valuation gives its investors a contrarian tag while the lower valuation of Suzuki makes analysts to take a neutral stand. Moreover, valuation being the highly weighed parameter at 34%, Subaru's future looks promising as low P2E ratio provides excellent bottom fishing opportunity while the relatively attractive P2B signaling the better asset utilization with an upside of 94% makes Subaru to lead the race. It is also strongly supported by the sensitivity analysis for 10 years down the line. In addition, Subaru staying aware of its R&D expenses by clever investments shows its calculated governance of investment decisions while the Suzuki's higher R&D cost with reducing operating profit signals its weaker investment management. So, I recommend Subaru over Suzuki for its strong fundamentals, better investment management, extremely high probability of positive returns, excellent bottom fishing opportunity and not to forget its diversified product and service range. Thank you.